COVID-19 epidemic is killing people every day that goes by. It's also generating huge economic losses. The International Monetary Fund estimates that losses are $500 billion every month. If you include the long run health effects of people not getting medical care because health systems are shut down, of people not getting education because of the effects of the epidemic, the effects are likely much larger. Some estimates could go as high as $3.5 trillion per month. That means that any action we can take now to accelerate vaccination has huge benefits. But the world's done a great job developing vaccines and building capacity. Multiple vaccines have been developed, which seem to be safe and effective in less than a year. Early in the epidemic, CEPI said that the world could manufacture perhaps two to four billion dollar, two to four billion doses per year. Publicly announced capacity exceeds 10 billion doses. That means we can vaccinate the world population and end the epidemic much sooner than we would have anticipated. Somewhat surprisingly, some economic calculations suggest that even though we've already installed a lot of capacity, it's worth installing even more. Building capacity to produce an extra billion doses per year has hundreds of billions of economic benefits. If we can produce enough vaccine to vaccinate the world in eight months rather than 12 months, that's a huge economic win. If you take a vaccine, you're benefiting yourself, but you're also benefiting me because I'm less likely to be infected. So this is a situation in which ironically, you know, there's been a lot of discussion in the popular press about the race for a vaccine. Who's going to be first to develop a vaccine? Well, a race is exactly the wrong metaphor. That's what economics teaches us. A gold medal in a race is something that only one person can win. If one person wins, the other person loses. It's a competition. In the case of a COVID-19 vaccine, this is a race that the whole world will win, or the whole world is winning now, because science has advanced and that's producing vaccines that the whole world will benefit from. Yes, the actual physical vaccine, that's something that only goes to one person at a time. So there, there is naturally competition about who will get the first doses of this. But the point is we can produce enough vaccine for everybody in the world. So the, the, the scientific development of the vaccine is something that we can all we can celebrate as a, as a human species. The, there's, as I noted, it's wonderful that we now have these vaccines, but the challenge is to produce more. And I think this is something where, I think we've already seen the benefits of international cooperation in vaccines. Many of the vaccines that have been developed are the result of international cooperation. Um, so there, I say that in two senses. The first sense is that individual vaccines are often the project product of multinational uh, multinational co cooperation. Pfizer, a co company in the U.S., but it also involved uh, um, a company in Germany, and it also involves a Chinese a Chinese role uh, through Fosun in Shanghai. I think there's that's one level of the international cooperation, but there's another level, which is we have many companies working to develop vaccines. And if any of them succeed, and these are companies around the world, we have at least the potential for if any of those to succeed, it's like many shots on goal. And luckily we're getting, many of them seem to be succeeding, but even if there was just one, that's something that could potentially benefit the whole world. But to generate the benefits for the whole world, what, what we need is we need all the vaccines to go through international regulatory uh, processes so it can be used anywhere. And I think one lesson, if we think about lessons of this to prevent the next pandemic, I think one lesson is we really need to try to develop systems so that when, wherever a vaccine is developed, it can, be, uh, it can be developed in a way and according to procedures so that it will be able to receive licenses everywhere in the world. That will require further uh, cooperation. And I think that's a challenge for the world going forward.